are trespassing on my property. Dorian, you cannot take over the company just because you say you own it. Actually, I can. For now, yeah, but we have a battalion of attorneys working on this. You're right on time. Would you please show these three persons out of here? And in future, do not allow them on the premises. Uh, oh, mm. Tony, 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 come on, all right? You're not actually going to go through with this, are you? Tony, if you don't, you're going to be looking for a new job. Uh, not so fast. In the cases of after-acquired title, the prior tenants, in, in ab initio, have the legal right to remove their personal belongings up to 48 hours after such title transfer. Ta-ta, Tony. Tony, don't go too far. I may need you. Let's see. Uh, by my reckoning, you have 15 minutes left of your 48 hours, so I suggest that you run, not walk, to gather up your little keepsakes. You really think you're going to get away with this? Dorian, we are going to sue, and every illegal tactic that you used to do this takeover is going to see the light of day. Be prepared to be served by the end of the week. You are going to sue me? I should be the one pressing charges for attempted murder. I'm just sorry I was prevented from finishing the job. Twelve minutes. Jared, even before we went to Texas and I told you how I felt about you, when I was really, really angry at you, I still didn't want you to go to jail. Natalie, I am dead weight. Not to me. Uh, I can't have you choose between me and them. I don't want it to come to that, but that's what this is. The Jared, I, I choose you. I choose you. Go ahead, deny it. Tell me that Adriana didn't pay you to come here and say you're Shane's dad. I can't. It's true. I was broke and Adriana offered me money. Well, maybe that's the reason I came to Landview, but it's not the reason I want to be the father Shane believes I am. If cash is all I was after, I'd be gone by now. Really? How do you figure? Because Adriana's mother offered me twice as much to leave. She wanted Rex to find out he's Shane's daddy. When did she make this offer? An hour or so before the wedding. I told her to shove it. And then she came right to me before the wedding and talked me into trying to stop it. I try not to think too much about why Adriana and her mother did what they did, but the fact is if they never went looking for me, you'd still think I was dead. And I'd still think you ran off with some other guy. So to be honest, I think Adriana did us a favor. <laughs> Look, I was just close to skipping town without you ever having known I'd been here. But I couldn't. Because deep down, I had to see you again. So who cares that a little spoiled brat bought you? So as long as we could have our 10-year high school reunion, do you remember what I said before I shipped out with the seals? I told you I was going to come back and marry you and be a father to your child. Yeah, you said that. I never did. You said we'd talk about it when I got back. Well, I'm back. You were great to me back then. My knight in dress whites. I wanted to keep being that guy. I was... 17 years old and pregnant. And I honestly didn't know how I was gonna raise a child by myself, but I figured it out. And Shane and I, we did okay. Better than okay. I don't need a husband to make my life complete. I can see that, you're all grown up. Yeah, I'm not the same girl I was back then. I've changed. Me too. A lot of things have happened to both of us. I never would have thought it would have been 10 years before we got to finish our conversation. Me neither. I never thought I was gonna get a chance to make good on those promises I made. But here I am. I said I was gonna be a father to your child. Now I am. 
Shane seems pretty stoked about it, and so am I. See my basketball shoes? Am I interrupting something good or something bad? Dorian Lord is the last person on earth I would have gotten drunk with. I mean, I can't stand that woman. I can't even bear to be in the same room with. Wait a minute. What? That night that Adriana had her auto accident, I came to the ER with Rex. Yeah, well, I was with Dorian that night, and she got a phone call. She got a phone call, and somebody told her that Adriana had had the accident, and she went to the hospital. Did you see her there? Yeah, I did. And then Adriana asked Rex to take her home. Which would have left you alone with Dorian. Yeah, man. I, you know, I wasn't in the best shape that day. I'd sort of been gearing up to tell Rex that I wasn't his father. Okay, well, maybe Dorian took pity on you, took you out for a drink. Yeah. No, there's no way I would have gone out with her. Oh, come on. Think. Uh, Dorian, screwdrivers, anything? Maybe the two of you ended up back at her place. You tied one on and you hit the sack. Yeah, what are you, out of your mind? I mean, the last thing I remember is being in the ER with Rex, and then, and then I don't remember anything until Vicky found me in that alley behind Rhodey's. Oh, come on, you don't remember nothing? Well, no, I think I haven't asked these questions of myself over and over again already. I'm, and why are you so hell-bent on pinning my drinking on Dorian? Oh, that's easy. She screwed me. I fully intend on repaying her. I'd like to help you there, but I can't. Great. I'll get better, I guess. Yeah, you know, they're gonna release me later today. Today? Mm. Maybe the gift shop will take this back then. Charlie. You gonna try to make things better with Vicky? I swear to you, if I could, I would. Good night, hen. And good night to all the animals in the pen. I know, darling, you want your mama. But we have to let your mommy sleep as long as possible today, okay? We'll see her in a little bit. But you know who's coming over? Your cousin Sarah. Yeah, she's going to come over later on. And you love her. <laughs> she always makes you smile. <laughs> <laughs>